Sorry. Oh, well, <laughs> Maybe um, you <laughs> Georgina <clears throat> never stops uh, raising awareness of Crohn's disease and she actually did it brilliantly on The Circle and yeah. she joins us now along with Dr Zoe. Hi. Hello to Hello. you both. Hi. How nice Hi. to meet you. Lovely to meet you, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I was just this lissom photograph of this totally non-existent Judy, 27-year-old. Yeah, yeah, oh, it was yeah. so funny. Did you, sus did you suspect that I was catfishing? I thought you were catfishing until you put that picture up in the Christmas tree. Oh, and I yeah. thought, right, she's got a massive Christmas tree. She thinks chicken is the worst food ever. She's real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's real. She's so, snobby and real. Yeah. So did, were you surprised then when I came around the corner as a 63-year-old git? I didn't think you were you. No. I don't think you were you at all. And then I don't know if you see, but my face, like, it goes through stages and I'm like, who is it? Oh, my gosh, it's a man. Oh, my gosh, it's a man. Oh, my gosh, it's Richard. Oh, my gosh, it's the guy from the game. And it goes like that and then suddenly we're hugging and it's all fabulous. Yeah, it was great. Good about heart attack. Listen, no, well, you've done an amazing amount of, of, of raising awareness of Crohn's in a way which was incredibly warm and approachable hmm. and positive, which is fantastic. Just to explain um, to people who didn't see the circle, what happened was we had to put pictures of our profile up and I had a false one, you had a real one. And hmm. um, when she put her second picture up that we all saw, you were in a, in a red swimsuit and you had your, your bag, your ileostomy bag on. And when I first saw that, there it is, I just thought it was just a clutch bag, you know. That you would... <laughs> and then about an hour after I'd seen it, I thought, hang on, she's not holding it and there's no strap. And you'd already said you, you, you were a Crohn survivor. And I went back and looked at it and I realised what you were doing. And we had that chat, didn't we? We had a really lovely chat. Um, you, know, on, you know, with me as be, being Judy and that's what I was talking about there. Tell me about the process. Did you have even to think about it, putting that picture up? For me, having a bag and having Crohn's disease has never, ever been something I've been ashamed of. It's actually, I'd say, it shaped me as to who I am as a woman now. And for me, I've always had my YouTube, my Instagram presence since before going in the circle, and I wanted to do that on a larger scale. It didn't frighten me putting it up. I wasn't worried about judgment or anything like that. Um, I was just nervous of the fact that there's a chance people might not think that's real. And I thought that would upset me more so than uh, people judging. Yeah. yeah. Because that's not really something you'd make up or anything like that. And no. No. These people, like you and everyone else, I hadn't met before. Um, but it was a really, really humbling experience. And the response you've had since you came out of the circle... Yes. Well, you were getting it while you were in, but you didn't know because everyone's incommunicado. It's you've crazy. had thousands and thousands and thousands it's... of people contacting you saying, I've got a bag yeah. and I'm not ashamed of it, thanks to you. It's absolutely crazy. People have drawn my faces on their bags. Um, this, <laughs> this one lady's had a picture of me in the bikini put on a mug. Um, there's this lady who did write to me. I, I go through my Instagram requests and I kind of look at the messages with the, the right. import, like, you know, eye-catching subjects. And this one lady had a son who had a bag fitted in, uh, about a few months ago and he died in the night after coming home with septicemia. Oh. And she's gone to visit his grave almost every day while the show's been on, saying there's this girl, Benny, and she's doing it for you, and she's put a picture of me uh, by the grave, and oh, so it's amazing. really humbling. Zoe, Dr Zoe, um, tell us about Crohn's disease. I mean, poor old Georgina's had it here <laughs> since you were, you were about 11, were you? You had um, a bad cold? No, I um, oh, had an infection of immune oh. system, and I got diagnosed when I was about 18, 19, but I had it for about three years before Right. Then. So what causes it? So, so Crohn's is an inflammatory condition and there's Crohn's disease and there's colit colitis, which are two similar but different conditions. Um, and we don't fully know the cause. We know that it's a combination of genetics and environmental factors. But as was the case with Georgina, sometimes there is a trigger. Um, it tends to first show itself between the ages of about 10 and 40. And often that could be a virus. It could be a very stressful period or a period of illness Gosh. that it first comes about. But it can be managed. It can be managed, yeah, once it's, you have it. It's, it's, a, it's a chronic condition. <laughs> yeah, it's um, incurable, but it can be managed and we yeah, can live with it. But it can't be cured. Not at the moment, no. No. And treatment, treatments vary, don't they? So some people have quite mild symptoms that can be managed just with lifestyle, all the way through to lots of different drugs that are always being developed to dampen down the immune system. Mm -hmm all the way to sometimes surgery is necessary. We're incredibly tight for time at this point in the show. I could talk to you for ages, but we're kind of out of time. But um, at the moment, you don't have the bag, do you? I don't you anymore. Don't I got reversed anymore. last no. year. But yes. you said actually having it is, in many ways, a, a relief because it takes away the symptoms. Yes, I loved having my bag. I loved it. <laughs> I could get through a whole movie without having to go to the toilet. Uh, I could yeah. spicy <laughs> curry with no <laughs> worries at all. It was great. Yeah. I think you're great. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're amazing. Stay in touch, yeah?